Hello grade 9 science class, welcome back to another lecture. This is lesson 7, titled Ohm's Law. Who is Ohm? I don't really know. That's just what we call the law. Uh, <laughs> I assume it was a guy uh, who kind of discovered this relationship, but I don't really know. Um, we're also going to talk about resistance, different levels of resistance within a circuit. Uh, and then we're going to do some calculations. So let's talk. Uh, resistance. Resistance is a property of any material that slows down the flow of electrons. So uh, some uh, things don't let electrons flow through. Some let them go uh, through, but let them go through slowly or quickly. And the ones that let them go through have a level of resistance. If it goes through fast, there's low resistance. If they're slow, it's high resistance. So it is a property of any material that slows down the flow of electrons and converts electrical energy into other forms of energy. So in high resistance wire, wires and light bulbs, the energy is converted into light and heat. That's why we can you know, see the light coming off and feel the heat uh, if we don't wait long enough after turning it off to change it. Um, electrical resistance is the ratio of voltage to current. So it is essentially a relationship between how much voltage we have and how much current we have. Uh, what is the difference in potential between these two areas? And then how much current is actually flowing through there? That'll depend on the resistance of that object. So an ohm, key point two, is the unit that we use um, to determine electrical resistance. So uh, an analogy would be like running on a sandy beach versus running in knee high water. It's, it's easier to run on the beach um, just like it would be easier for electricity to flow through some materials than others. It'd be harder for you to run through water than on the beach. So some materials are easier, some are harder. It, it depends on a few things. What I'd like you to do is if you have some straws at home and a cup, um, I'd like you to try this out. Uh, you can use your stopwatch maybe on your phone or on your computer. Um, but essentially it's going to try to demonstrate why things have good uh, or high resistance compared to low resistance. So you're going to essentially try to drink water with the straw in these four different uh, formats. Um, you're going to do it scientifically. You're going to measure the amount of water and time how long it takes you to drink it with one straw, a bent straw, three straws together, or three straws uh, linked end to end and answer a couple of questions. It can be kind of fun, do it with your family. Several of you can do it, um, but something to do at home um, to discover some resistance. So what factors, number three, what factors affect resistance? So it would be the type of wire. Copper, copper offers less resistance than nichrome, which is a type of, of wire. Uh, thickness of the wire, the thinner the wire has more resistance. If it's a thicker wire, there's less resistance. The length of the wire matters. If you have a long wire, there's more resistance compared to a short wire, which has less. And the temperature, if you have a higher temperature, you have more resistance. So these are the factors that affect resistance. We don't need to use them to determine the resistance. Just want you to know what are some different things that can affect the resistance in a wire. We can use this relationship, or Ohm's law, to determine the voltage, the current, or the resistance within any circuit. Uh, the key is that we know two of these already. So the more resistance that's in a circuit, the less current will be flowing. And that makes sense. If you have more resistance within a circuit, there's going to be less movement of charges within that circuit. The more voltage there is in a circuit, the more current we're going to have. So batteries with more volts, have more current. Um, we can use this triangle here, V uh, over top of I and R, to um, find out what uh, the equation would be to find out a particular um, unit. So let's say we want to know voltage. If we want to know voltage, we would cover it up, and that would leave us with I, R on the same level. That would mean if we want to find voltage, we multiply I by R. If I want to find out what current is, I cover it up and I've got voltage on top of resistance. So I would take voltage and divide it by resistance. Or if I cover up resistance, because that's what I want to know, I would take voltage 
and divide it by current. So let's do some examples. There are going to be lots of examples for you to try. And then if you guys have any questions about any of them, please let me know so I can help you out. Um, there is only three different things to find right now. So uh, there's only three different ways we can do this calculation. Let's try all three. Oh, sorry, I couldn't find it. Boom. All right. So practice problem one. Uh, we're going to use Ohm's law, so I'm going to draw the triangle first, and you can definitely do this at the top of any assignment or quiz or test. Draw Ohm's law, so V on top of I and R. So the first question asks us, the current through a load in a circuit is 1.5 amps. So I know current is I. So what I always do is I write down what I know. I is equal to 1.5 amps. It told me that straight away. Uh, next, the potential difference across the load is 12 volts. It tells me that volts is equal to 12. That is V, 12 volts. What is the resistance of the load? R is what I want to know. So what I can do now is I can take um, R and cover it up with my finger to know that I need to divide V by I to find the resistance. So R is equal to voltage divided by current. I put my finger over R, I have V over I, that's what I need to do. Voltage over current, so that is 12 divided by 1.5. Oh boy, let's test my skills. Nine? Yeah, it's nine. The resistance is equal to nine. You should use a calculator for this. I just did it in my head, but I believe it's nine. Um, so we have R is equal to nine. Is that right? You tell me. Uh, our next problem, two. We have the resistance is equal to 15. So R is equal to 15 ohms. It tells us next there is a current of 0.8. I should get my calculator out. I did not prepare for this. Hold on. Okay, so it is a 0 0.80 amps. I'll get my phone out. I can do that here. Okay. And what it wants to know is what is the voltage across the headlight? So V is our question mark. So if I take V and I cover it up, I'm going to have to, to have I and R beside each other and that's multiplied. So voltage is equal to I times R. Voltage is equal to I is 0.8 and R is 15. I don't know what 0.8 of 15 is off the top of my head. So voltage equal to 0.8 times 15 equals 12 volts. So that is our answer. I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna check my other one. <laughs> I think I got it wrong. 12 divided by 1.5 is eight. It's eight, it's not nine. Okay, I'm sorry. Everybody makes mistakes as long as we go back and check. So there we go. The resistance in the first problem would be eight and in the second problem it's nine. If you're feeling comfortable, Pause it here and try the third one. There's actually lots of problems for you to do after this, but I'm going to do the third one here and you can see if you got it right. I'm gonna draw my triangle again, just so that I have it here. It's very handy. I and R. Okay, so third question. Uh, 60 volt potential difference. So voltage is 60 volts. It tells me that in the first three little characters there. Uh, is measured across a load that has a resistance of 15 ohms. So resistance is equal to 15 ohms, 15 horseshoes. What is the current through this load? I is what we want to know. The current is what we want to know. I'm going to cover it up. So I see that I'm left with V over R. That means that I is equal to V over R, which is equal to 60 divided by 15. And in this case, I can do it in my head. I is equal to four. For what, you might ask? Four amps, okay? So we uh, use our triangle, I highly recommend it. Cover up the one that you want to find out what equation you should use. 
and then plug in the values and use your calculator. If you make a mistake, no problem. Just make sure you check, okay? Just like me. Thanks so much for watching, everyone. Let me know if you have any problems. Oh, yes, there's lots of practice for you to do. I forgot to put up your job, but uh, definitely check out that stuff. Practice, 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 and let me know if you have questions, okay? Thanks so much, everyone. Bye.